Greetings everyone. Before I begin this channeling, I would like to add a personal note. Recently I have begun to download various activation seals in preparation for September's Blood Moon and the Wave X Shift, a big wave of electromagnetic frequency, a term given by Dr. Simon Atkins, which is set to trigger a massive awakening in September. Today I would like to share one such activation with you called, the Monoatomic Particle of God Activation. After the channeling, I will talk about how to use this seal and talk more about this particle. For now here is a channeling that I have received from Archangel Metatron and the 33rd Dimension. Dearly beloved children of light, the definition of the monatomic particles of God, simply put, is the building block of your reality, the reality as you truly coherently understand it to be. The monatomic particles of God are the particles which partake of the phenomenon of instructive energies of the beholder, and translate said energies into the physical reality that is occupying your time and space continuum. The monatomic particles of God are adept at transgressing various reality-based programming, in order to awaken the truth of the benevolence of self, from the very core of your earthly structures of being. For through the monatomic particles floating around in your ethers and your very own cells, does the transformation from a competitive and individualistic-based society to the unity and oneness-based society shall begin to emerge. For we have spoken to you readily regarding said changes which are momentarily occurring within your biological structures. For we have spoken to you readily about various activities which are taking place within your cells and your organs and the whole of all parts of the vehicle of your chosen momentum. And so and thus, the time has come to discuss the cognitive effects of said monatomic particles of God. Let us then commence with the explanation of the true nature of building blocks of your reality, the manipulation thereof and your innate abilities to transgress all said structures set out for you by those in the know. In truth, each of you are equipped with biological and etheric mechanism which upon your request, shall activate and break through the barriers of your known cognitive reality, fusillating through the cell structure of your vibrational principles of being. And upon said activation, the outworldly dual mechanism which you are all equipped with shall allow you to fully connect to the divinity not only within your own structural cognition, but the cognition of those around you fabricating a field of influence unbeknownst in your present reality. What we are trying to say to you dearly beloveds, is that the time has come for you to fully activate said mechanism in order to completely connect yourselves to the divinity not only within yourself, but to the cosmic gateway exquisitely laid out for you, in order to tune into the tapestry of benevolence, in order to construct a new reality in which you shall partake of the heavenly waters. And so and thus, it is through activating said mechanism and following the innate knowing within your very being that you shall be able to tap into the universal tapestry of harmonious tones of ascension. Universal Tapestry of Harmonious Tones of Ascension By meditating upon said principles, you shall be able to understand and prepare your vessel for the activation which is rapidly approaching your cognitive reality. And so and thus. We ask you to partake of the following decrees with fervor and might. Channeled by Anna Merkaba Now having said this, I would like to bring your attention to the seal and what a monatomic particle is. While I was preparing this channeling for all of you, I was guided to crucible.org, where I have come upon an explanation by Dr. David Wheeler. According to Dr. Wheeler, monatomic elements are usually recognized as precious metals such as gold, silver, platinum, rhodium, iridium, and others, which occur as molecules of their individual element state as more than one atom linked together. For example, gold in its metal form is composed of six atoms linked together, while in its other form, there is only one atom existing at a time. The theory that David Hudson puts forth is that when these elements, normally recognized as metals, exist as only one atom at a time in their non-metal state, they exhibit superconductive properties. This means that when electricity currents flow through these elements, there is virtually no impedance to this flow. The problem is that there is no way, according to Mr. Hudson, that modern electrical technology can even detect elements that have superconductive properties, which is because the instrumentation is fooled by the superconductivity in the different monatomic elements. 
According to Mr. Hudson, gold miners have been fascinated by a substance called white gold, which is the tailings, sludge, left over after gold recovery from the earth. Many people have tried to find a way to extract the mysterious substance and tailings in large quantities, but have failed so far. Based on analysis, these tailings have always exhibited the strange property of not being capable of analysis, they have been classified as substances unknown by testing labs. As it turns out, monatomic elements also have substantial healing properties. These elements exist in the body, particularly in the nervous system. Many plants contain monatomic elements as well, interwoven within the botanical molecules. According to some research, the more people can increase the amount of these superconductive elements in their body, the greater the body's capacity is to heal itself. The immune system is nothing more than a communication system, and by increasing the speed and efficiency of cell-to-cell -cell communication, the body can then more easily identify and eliminate disease. Another hypothesis is that monatomic elements also clear distortions in the DNA molecule. From the ground floor of biochemical function in the body, there is a clearing of any health issues and disease tendencies. The cells communicate with each other not only with chemicals and electrically via the nervous system, but also via photons. A lack of photons in the cells, as well as needing to be organized correctly, will inhibit the capacity of the immune system to be able to recognize and eliminate disease. Monatomic elements seem to increase the level of photons in the cells, as well as reorganizing their active function to promote health. Please note though that this particular channeling and meditation are not advocating the consumption of monatomic gold particles, as that is not what this channeling is about. The above statement is simply there to help you understand what a monatomic element is, so keep this in mind as you proceed. I'd also like to remind you that we have entered the photon belt as I have channeled a few months back, and now we are being presented with the activation of our monatomic particles. All of this in alignment with tremendous amount of photon energy that is coming our way is truly a miraculous blessing that we are being gifted with. I truly hope that this activation will allow you to truly open up to the energies of this shift coming our way very soon. So. Here are the instructions on how to use the monatomic particle of God's seal. Step 1. What I am told is, you are to take a moment in your day and sit in a quiet meditative state, fully relax, and repeat the following mantra. Through the incarnation principles of benign encounters, the monatomic particles of God shall activate fully and completely within the structure component grids of my vehicle. Through the request of said activation, I allow my higher self to bestow upon me the sacred knowledge of the ages, which has been kept locked away within the debris of manipulations conducted within my gene pool. I acknowledge said manipulations, understand their benevolence, and release all the blockages associated with said manipulations. I release all blockages standing in my way in order to tap into the universal codices of light, universal codices of truth, benevolence and might universal codices of love and unconditional understanding. I acknowledge, release, and allow said energies to swirl within my cognitive understanding of being, for the benefit and positive commencement of the new era with a benevolent outcome for all involved. I release and I let go of all the perceived obstacles, of all the perceived threats, of all the perceived fears, and finally arrive at a new foundation built for me by me. With said initiative, I allow my higher self to reconstruct my physical vessel of time and space in order to allow more light to be anchored into my very cells and monatomic particles of God to be activated fully and completely.